Hey, what is going on guys? It is Sportian here and we have a update video for you guys. Season 2 has been extended to April 7th and the Season 2 competitive rewards have been released as you can see in the picture. They are boost and they have the logo which is kind of cool. We don't have a moving image unfortunately but we just have this picture. But anyway, Season 2 has been extended to April 7th. That means you have some extra time to unlock your outstanding Season Rewards and make sure you hit your Dream Rank to earn your Season 2 Competitive Rewards. Unfortunately, it got, you know, extended, which is still a little weird. But let's get into the article. As you can see, here is a bigger version of the boost. We have the Plat here, the Bronze in the back, the Champ, the Supersonic Legends, the Grand Champ, which I will be getting, the Diamond, the Gold, and the Silver. Let me know what you guys think of these boosts. I think they're pretty cool. They look like, you know, they're going to be interesting. I'm excited to see when they move. Season 2 is approaching the end of its set list, but get ready for an encore. This season has been extended to April 7th. That means you have some extra time to unlock your outstanding season challenges and hit your dream rank to earn your season 2 competitive rewards. Speaking of which, it's time to reveal our latest competitive rewards. If you haven't already guessed from the image above, the rewards are from the Season 2 boost. Players will earn their rewards in the beginning of Season 3. If you're unfamiliar with how competitive season rewards are earned, this is for a lot of the newer players, you must complete your placement matches to receive a rank, then fulfill the appropriate season reward level, 10 wins for each rank beginning with bronze, just like in Season 1, Season 2 will feature a different reward for each rank, including Supersonic Legends. Titles will also be distributed for those who won the competitive tournaments or earned Grand Champion and Supersonic Legend rank in Standard or Extra Game Mode. Check out the full rewards breakdown below. So this is for a lot of the new players. So Bronze 1 or higher, you get the Bronze Boost. If you are Silver 1 or higher, you earn the Silver Boost and the Lower Boost, which is the Bronze. And then if you earn Gold 1 or higher, you earn the Gold Boost and all the Lower ones below, and so on. So if you want Plat, you get all the Plat Boost and the Lower Boost. Diamond, you get the Diamond Boost and all the Lower Boost below it, like Plat, Gold, Silver, Bronze. Diamond, or Champion, sorry, you get Champ Boost and then you get all the Lower Boost. Grand Champion, you get the Grand Champ Boost and all the Lower Boost. And if you hit Supersonic Legends, you get Supersonic Legends and all of the boosts out of all of the season, which is pretty cool. Grand Champion Title Rewards. Competitive Grand Champion gets Season 2, or S2 Grand Champion in Crimson Text. I am going to be getting the Crimson Text for the first time. I'm still going to rock my gold text though, the season 13. I think the gold text looks better than the crimson. Leave a comment down below of which one you think is better, the crimson text or the gold one. For Rumble Grand Champ, you get S2 RNG Champ. Hoops Grand Champ, you get S2 Dunk Master. Snow Day Grand Champ, you get S2 Blizzard Wizard. Drop Shot Grand Champ, you get S2 Floor Destroyer. And that is all in crimson text. Now, for Supersonic Legends, we got Competitive Supersonic Legends, S2 Supersonic Legend in Titanium White. That one's pretty clean, though, I will admit. That is better than the Gold and the White. The Rumble Supersonic Legend, you get S2 RNG Genius. Hoop Supersonic Legend, you get S2, S2 Legendary Baller. Snow Day Supersonic Legend, you get S2 Titan, Ice Titan. Drop Shot Supersonic Legend, you get S2 Tile Annihilator. I really like all those. I would never hit Supersonic Legends in any extra game mode or even in general, so I'll just enjoy reading them. Enjoy the extra week to hit those ranks. Still not happening, Rocket League. What's happening to the Season 2 tournament credits? Once Season 2 ends, your tournament credit balance will reset, which is similar at the end of Season 1. Existing tournaments credits will convert to All-Star Cups. Players who have participated in the competitive tournament and have between 0 to 12,000 tournament credits will receive one All-Star Cup. Players who have more than 12,000 tournament credits will receive an additional All-Star Cup depending on how many tournament credits they have. See below for the breakdown. Okay, so 0 to 12,000 tournament credits, you receive one All-Star Cup. 12,001 to 24,000 tournament credits, you receive two All-Star Cups. 24,001 to 36,000 tournament credits, you receive three All-Star Cups, etc. Good luck in the remaining weeks of Season 2, and stay tuned for more info as we speed into Season 3. Oh, trust me, Rocket League, I will be paying attention, and I'm very excited for Season 3. But for these tournament credits, I kind of recommend using them all before you, you know, before they automatically give you All-Star Cups. I think you should, you know, use them all. That's what I'll be doing very shortly in a video. 
So let me know what you guys think of these brand new Season 2 rewards boost. I think it's pretty cool. It's something new, like meaning like, you know, we have the actual logo on the boost. We've never had that. It's only been the colors. So I'm really excited to see this in game. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.